Once again, we have gathered together to present our prayers, praise, and petitions before the great I am that I am. And we do not esteem this privilege and responsibility lightly. So we want to thank you, Pastor Donahue. Uh, we are anxiously awaiting your return. Dear hearts, we have been encouraging you to keep praying, to keep playing, keep on seeing, and keep on swimming. My assignment today is to release unto you this thought. Keep on striving. Keep on striving. Over in the 20th chapter of the book of Matthews, there is a story of two blind men who were sitting on the roadside that led out of Jericho. They heard the sound of a large crowd and they knew that Jesus was passing by. And at the appropriate time, they cried out and asked him for mercy. The crowd rebuked him and told him, sit down and shut up. But the more that the crowd rebuked them, the louder they cried. And they cried until Jesus heard them over the crowd. Catch on somebody. Jesus was not moved by their dilemma. He was moved by their prayer of faith. In the end, Jesus did touch their eyes and gave them sight. And I want to say to you, you may be in a situation where the crowd of pain, disappointment, doubt, and suffering are telling you to stay in your place, that there is nothing more than your current situation, that your condition is constant and your plight is permanent. Your predicament might seem impossible, but I encourage you to keep on striving, keep on shouting, hoping, and believing. With all that's going on these days, you may feel like you're stuck in a perpetual season of winter. You've been praying about the same thing for so long. Your day may seem dark. Your going has gotten tough. But hang on in there. This is not the time for giving up. Keep on striving. Just like the woman with the issue of blood and the centurion with his favorite servant who is about to die. Your faith of prayer is what heals you. It's your faith that fills in all the empty gaps. It's your faith that seals you until the day of redemption. Hallelujah. Now listen, I can't and I will not guarantee that the conclusion that you desire will be happy, but I can guarantee you that God hears and he answers prayer and he has not forgotten about you. So keep on striving, dear heart. Without further ado, let us pray. Baruch Atah Adonai, Jehovah Rapha, blessed are you our Lord, our healer, as recorded in Psalms 147 and 3. You are the living God who is loving, compassionate, long-suffering, and able to show yourself strong on our behalf. We give you glory and we honor you with our whole hearts, minds, bodies, and spirits. It's in the matchless name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, the anointed one, that we submit this prayer. We realize that we may have sinned unknowingly in word, thought, or deed. So we confess our sins that are overt and covert. We plead the precious blood of Jesus that was shed vicariously and voluntarily for the remission of our sins. We ask God for your forgiveness even as we forgive ourselves and forgive others. Please bless those who have repented for their wicked ways. And we do thank you for the blood of Jesus. Father, on the eve of this day that our nation has set aside to commemorate the act of giving thanks, we acknowledge that we have got so much to thank you for. So many of us have prayer requests that we cannot or will not articulate in this space. You are a reader of the intentions and the motivations of our hearts. So, Father, please move by your spirit and address the unspoken needs of these, your people, and the needs that line up with your will, your word, and your way. Peace in this time of season. We are drawing to the end of the year, and it seems like the end of the year always takes a crowd with it. But God, we'll pray now against the spirit of depression, against the spirit of oppression, and the spirit of recession. And Father God, for everyone on this prayer land who has a need, we ask that you would move, you said, not by power and not by might, but by my spirit. So Father, we request that by your spirit, you would move on the behalf of your people. Do something wonderful for them today. We also ask for deep healing that goes beyond distance, 
disconnection and denial many of us have been hurt very deeply at some point in time we buried it because we thought that if we didn't think about it if we didn't talk to that thing or that person if we didn't see them or if we were not in the same place at the same time that it would go away but we found out that it will not go away and so father we ask that you would heal us deep on the inside father take away every bitterness dig up the root of bitterness father heal us and give us the strength that you promised give us a strategy to overcome the hurt and give us support father heal us until the thoughts no longer sting heal us until we can laugh about the situation heal us until we can love them those who have despitefully used us so we can forgive them and even love them right over there wherever they are over there somewhere father have your way and do your thing we give up and turn over to you our concerns we give up and turn over to you our need to be in control we give up and turn over to you the keys to the safety zones that protected us but at the same time held us back father we thank you for the belief system that you have given us that uplifts us when we need it most father we believe everything that you have said we are not the tail we are the head we believe you when you said that if we seek your face turn from our wicked ways that you would stretch out your mighty hand you would heal the land and change things father we believe that greater than he that is and within us than he that is in the world we believe that we are more than a conqueror and that we are overcomers we believe that you are a rewarder of them that diligently seek you we believe that we are overcomers we are grateful for the overflow of joy that floods our souls there are so many trials tribulations and tests that come to try our faith so we aren't happy about these things but in the midst of them father we thank you for the joy of our salvation we know what ain't right will be someday we'll be able to laugh about it real soon your word declares that in all things we should give thanks we say thank you loudly and boldly thank you thank you thank you father we put our faith in your words we thank you for our now faith that is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen father please set a watch before these lips of clay so that we will not speak words of discouragement depression or dejection word up our mouths so that we would speak words of encouragement and acceptance send your word god and let it accomplish whereunto it is sent and let it not return into you void father let the word bring light life laughter and unlimited love we are grateful that justice did not have her way but you restrained her with grace and mercy and for that gotta tell you thank you the enemy tried to steal our vision tried to kill our joy tried to destroy our faith but you said not so we are thankful that in the midst of the fray we did not die yes there were times when some of us thought that we couldn't take it we weren't going to make it some of us even wondered if it was worth it all we put ourselves in harm's way that you protected us had it not been for jesus rather and the blood i can't even imagine where we'd be it could have been another way it would have been another way it should have been another way because we were covered by the blood death passed over us and for that we tell you thank you it wasn't just the adversary who tried to snuff out our lives yes he did set traps for our demise but there were people smiling in our faces with the knives hidden behind their backs and in our folly we pranced on the precipice of danger and played around in the pit of peril we got so close to the gates of hell that our roads were singed with the flesh our foolish pride could have caused us to fall by the wayside god you could have let us die in our sins we were busy doing our own thing you could have let us die you could have turned us over to a reprobate mind we could have been consumed 
but thank you father you had a plan for us and you saved us we could have been taken out with that accident we didn't see we could have been unalived with that sickness that tried to set up an infection in our bodies we could have suffered at the hands of that serial killer that we did not see coming we could have sung our swan song because of the stroke the heart attack the aneurysm and the mental breakdown that you did not let happen but the guardian angels that you commissioned to stand watch over started the plan of the enemy and prevented the attacks how can we say thanks with the intensity and the fervor that we are feeling right now holy ghost please help us to get through this prayer there's a praise ringing down in the city of my soul that's trying to break forth that praise wants to indulge in spiritual warfare i feel like running my god cause every step causes an earthquake in the camp of the enemy i feel like clapping my hands because every clap sends thunderbolts in that direction i feel like dancing because every time i take a step it sends a hurricane in the camp of the enemy and i feel like hollering because every decibel of my voice is amplified and splits the eardrums of every confederate of hell we're thanking you father for keeping us and giving us our weapons of warfare prayer and praise i don't have to fear an opponent that cannot stand up don't have to fear an opponent that cannot see and cannot hear our weapons are strong and mighty to the pulling down of strongholds and so with a mouth full of praise we can kill what tried to kill us god i thank you we thank you that you saved us from the penalty of sin you even saved us from ourselves you saved us when no one else could we were lost but now we are found you gave us what we needed and we have purposed in our minds that we are not going back we will not be silent we will keep on striving we will shout even the louder and when the enemy sows seeds of doubt and whispers lies in our ears and shows us things designed to make us fearful we are not going back we're sold out for jesus from here on out it's upward and onward in his name father help us to remember those who are hungry naked shoeless homeless without clean drinking water without proper medical attention without safety from bombs and soldiers who have an insatiable bloodthirst for revenge father foil the plot to steal the land and disappoint the synagogue of satan those who claim to be jews but are not jesus we lift up the sick and the bereaved teach us how to speak love and healing to the 11 systems of our bodies we are stressed them we've overtaxed them and let them fall into disrepair even though you told us that our bodies are the temple of the holy ghost so father we ask for healing today for your people we come against cancer and diabetes and covid 19 and irregular blood pressure and everything that is not like you and with the authority that's vested in the mighty name of Jesus we speak healing and restoration to our bodies pain you must cease inflammation you must subside brain you must cognate correctly dysfunction of glands and organs is not allowed biological biochemical and bioelectrical processes you must line up into perfect working order cysts warts skin tags moles and pustules you are denied blood supply the blood of jesus is against you you are cursed in your roots you must dry up and wither away everything that is not like god must reverse its course immediately do it now in the strong name of jesus satan loose your grip we resist you and you must flee father don't forget the incarcerated the institutionalized those languishing in hospitals and hospices let your shekinah glory rescue the suicidal and if you don't mind kind sir lift up that bow down head turn that frown into a smile visit the lonely comfort the brokenhearted let the pressure all of your anointing saturate our heads until it reaches our hearts protect our loved ones and those who must be out and about in the dangerous streets give them traveling mercies in the name of jesus enlarge our borders enhance our finances give us jobs careers and promotions that are above our training our experience and our education give us new creativity and strategies uh, create alternative streams of income for us make easy and successful our paths and then father get glory out of it all Father, please bind up the spirits of murder, mayhem, wrath, rage, mischief that harms others, confusion, chaos, catastrophe, and calamity. 
Send them back to the dry place. Father, bless those in our circle of concern. Break every generational curse. Bless our young people as never before. And then turn the hearts of the fathers back to their children and the hearts of the children back to their fathers. Please reclaim the backslider and lay claim on those who don't yet know you in the pardon of their sins. Bless everyone under the sound of my voice, whether in real time or when brief broadcasted at a later time, meet our daily needs and give us the desires of our hearts cause everything our hands touch to prosper breathe new life into our situations give us favor with our creditors and consistent and continuous streams of income and then father don't let us get weary and well doing take this prayer shape it up like it ought to be it's in the matchless name of yeshua hamashiach that we submit this prayer and every state father we agree with your word and for those saints who can't agree with this prayer father let them say amen Amen and amen. Hallelujah. It is so, people. It is so. It is so. Father God, we thank you. Amen. God bless you, people of God. Amen. Now, people of God, go knowing that it is already done. Amen. Don't let the enemy trick you. It's already done. Speak it out of your mouth. It's already done. All right, I'm done. I'm done hollering at you. <laughs> All up. Already. Shalom. Go with God. Be encouraged and be blessed.